Okay, so I'm at the point now, holy crap, where I want an army builder. Um, what I don't want is to pay for it. Um, another thing I don't want to do is spend hours trying to pirate it, or just plain pirate it. Um, <clears throat> just because to me it seems like a really simple program. And um, if I'm using it just for Warhammer 40k, um, that doesn't really seem like something that is worth 50 bucks, um, or however much it costs. So I'm sure you've all seen Army Builder. For those of you who haven't, um, let me open one up here. This is just the demo version. Yeah, there's Army Builder. Woo! And um, it basically just it lets you choose the options, choose guys, and and it gives you all the options so you can edit and everything for them. And it adds up your points and lets you print off a nice little thing for them. But am I the only one that thinks that this is going to be this would be really easy to make? Um, the updates would be a pain, but um, it seems like a really really basic program. Like if you click, if you open this, then you get these checkboxes, and you can choose these checkboxes or that checkbox. If you check this checkbox, then this one gets grayed out, and you can't check it. Um, and then it adds up your points. It's it seems really simple to me. So I've gotten to the point today where I have I'm, I just downloaded Visual Basic. Um, I'm going to try to learn Visual Basic to make a program like Army Builder that's open source that I will give to all of you. Um, of course, I don't own every codex right now. So, um, if I, after I get this done, if anybody wants to make updates for it, you can take, you can write it off of my code for one of the other codexes that I've made or something like that. Um, so, yeah. If you have any advice for learning Visual Basic easily, um, just enough to do this kind of thing, um, that would be greatly appreciated. I'm also going to be making all of the graphical user interface, the buttons and everything. Um, so it's probably going to be a project that's going to take me a while, but I just can't believe there's not a, a serious open source version of Army Builder with all of us nerds out there. I know half of us know how to program. I've done, I've done three semesters of C++. So seriously, why is there not an open source version of this? Um, yeah, give me any any advice you have about, about Visual Basic. Um, um, yeah, I'll probably be watching a lot of tutorials, so if you find any good tutorials on, online or on YouTube or anything, those will help. And let me know what armies you guys are interested the most in having them for. Um, probably the first ones I'm going to make are going to be um, Imperial Guard, Space Marines, and then it's kind of a toss-up between what everybody wants, because... I mean, I would make one for my Eldar and Dark Eldar, but I really don't care about them that much. I used to play Eldar all the time, and I'm just taking a break from them, so. Um, Pure Guard Space Marines are probably going to be first, but after that, it's kind of free reign. I might make Tyranids second, and Imperial Guard first, you never know. Because, I mean, there's going to be a lot of demand for the Tyranid one now. So, um, again, let me know if you have any advice, because... I'm learning Visual Basic right now just to write a program for Army. It's like Army Builder, so, um, yeah, it's going to take me a while. And see you guys later. That's me shooting because I'm upset that there's not an open source version of, of Army Builder. That's also me shooting because I, I had previously bought um, Enemies of the Imperium and Armies of the Imperium, which are the Game Workshop version of Army Builder, and there's so many freaking airs in there. And there's never freaking updates. So thanks a lot, Games Workshop. I actually bought your product and you... <laughs> That's why I was also shooting.